Maggie Flegno, and this is Houston Happens. You know the drill. It's Friday. I take the show on the road, and what can I say? Put me in, coach. I can be a player. Well, maybe a different kind of player, but I'm so excited because finally, the weekend we have been anticipating is here. The college football playoff national championship game. It's all going down on Monday, but right now we are at Playoff Fan Central. This is interactive. It's family fun. Best part? It's free. I know a lot of us spent a lot of money over the holidays, so this is a great place to be. It doesn't open until later today, so we're giving you an exclusive inside peek. And here's the thing. I had to have a little backup, right? You know we're all about teamwork at CW39 Houston and Seth. Put me in, Coach. Seth. Maggie. <laughs> what are you doing over oh, here? Yes, you, you got some game. Ahead. You got some game. I'd like that. Do the stance again. Can you do the stance? I'll do the high with that. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah. So, Seth, actually, Seth with the good hair, as I like to call you, um, you played football. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I mean, all the way up until junior year of high school. So, we're talking really high-level stuff here. But, I mean, uh, that is very high-level. I think for I had sure. one highlight, maybe two touchdowns. <laughs> Not great. It, it all counts. And, and I bet you were popular with all the ladies. Well, yeah, you know. I always dated the football players. Did you so. cheerlead? I didn't. No. Fun fact, I can't do a cartwheel. Well, it's very no, 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 no. <laughs> we can't have me do a, can yep. you do a cartwheel? We're not even going to try that. <laughs> I could yeah. maybe do a somersault, but I can't do gymnastics. I have a lot of spirit. Yes, I do. You That's for sure. You have that. Yes, we <laughs> well, love you know what else I love? Shopping. Shopping. Let's so shopping. let's take a little walk. There's so much to do here. So it opens this weekend. It's going to be here three days of so much fun. Three whole days shopping. Shopping, games. games. Shopping. You can see all of this stuff. So as you look around, and you know what I love too, there are concerts happening. Right. All over town. You can also taste all of the different restaurants. Right. It's for all of the kids too because they're helping teachers in our community. Right. We're going to get to know more about that, this program. It's great for the teachers in the community. So it's uh, good to be economy too. It's just so many perks to having the championship game here in Houston. Exciting time. And really the star of the show is H-Town. If it comes to hospitality, we're the MVPs and I'm so excited because we are joined by Lester. Introduce yourself to everybody. Lester Gretsch. I work with the Houston Host Committee and of course the Harris County Houston Sports Authority. I do marketing, communications, and community engagement. Well, let me tell you, Seth and I have already been having so much fun out here. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect. So a whole bunch of fun, a lot of interactive activities as you guys have already seen and shown the public. Uh, what we're expecting is for people to come in knowing that they can come in for free. They don't need to have a game ticket. Free, free, free. That's huge. For the, yeah. That's super huge for the whole family, especially right after the holidays, as we were talking about off yeah. air. So this is extremely important. You've got former athletes coming in here, giving autographs. you got the opportunity to test your aim, throwing the football. you got the opportunity to run obstacles. A whole bunch of stuff, always football related. And you don't even need, need to be a football fan. You just come in, sports fan, enjoy yeah. yourself. I saw a mechanical bull over there. <laughs> that doesn't scream college football, but I like it. It's Houston. And listen, you know, if it rocks your boat, Go for it. <laughs> I think we may have to get on that. I think I could outride you. I, I I'm pretty tough. from this before, so let's do it. You know, oh, it's more fun. Cool. We'll, yeah. we'll get into that later. But you know what else? is a lot of fun Busted. shopping. Let's go. Come okay, on let's in. take let's a take look inside and see. So I told my husband already that I would bring him something back. So do you have something like, oh, look at this. Uh, see, there you go. I don't, need, I don't right even need away. to show you. <laughs> right away. So tell us a little bit about the shopping experience. You know, oh, that's you, honey. Oh, two oh, chains. Wait, but two chains is... Who's all performing? We got some performers too, right? We do have some performers. <laughs> uh, you might be one of them if we're lucky. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of T-shirts. We that's got really cool. stuff that's being pressed in, uh, in the back portion of this uh, of this store. So really, you know, if you want to come in and if you really want to enjoy yourself, come in early. Yeah. So you can actually like catch everything. Uh, Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. So you can actually come in, and if they don't open, just get in line and patiently wait your turn and. You'll be let in. And a lot of people are excited because the rain's moving out for the uh -huh. concerts tonight. So tell us a little bit about the concerts all weekend. So the concerts will be going on tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Tonight it'll be a Kids Bop back. Your favorite. Oh, yeah. Yes, Jammed of course. Kids yep. Tomorrow it's R&B and rap. <laughs> and then, of course, on Sunday it'll be country music. Uh, those two acts, Saturday and Sunday, are very, very popular right now in terms of uh, tickets. And, of course, tonight there's a little bit more of an opportunity to show up. Okay. Well, Keep it up with everything, you know, follow on Instagram, social media. College Football Playoff app is extremely important. Download it for free. Also, collegefootballplayoff.com. You can also go there. Uh, the Houston Host Committee website, which is houston2024.com. You can go there. All the news, everything that's going on, you can get it over there. We talked about teachers. Do we have time to talk about that now, or should we save that for later? Let's save that for okay. later, because we're just kicking off here. We're going to have a lot of fun. And 
Are you ready to play some football? You're going down, man. Who, who are you choosing? Who do you think? Blondie or the good hair? <laughs> you. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I got to like stretch. That. I got to start stretching. Stay tuned. We're just getting started right here on YouTube Nappins. I'm so excited. Seth is going to be joining me all morning and some other special guests. Stay tuned. It's going down. Enroll in Trend Barber College today. Financial aid and VA benefits are available for those who qualify. Call the Southwest Campus at 713-721-0000. Call the North Campus at 281-440-8383. Trend Barber College is the home of the $5 haircut, where walk-ins are always welcome. TexasQualityPlumbing.com We fix faucets and sinks, toilets that leak, drains that back up, showers and tubs. We're Texas Quality Plumbing. We're gas lines, water heaters, yard drains, drain cleaners. Yeah, we're the plumbing pros. The trusted name that Houston knows. Texas Quality Plumbing.com. Hi, I'm Art Rascone. During my four decades reporting the news, I've seen people overcome pain, hardship, and tragedy. And in my view, the best path forward is to let those who can help do what they do best. If you've been injured, Call Terry Bryant. They've been fighting for the people of Houston for as long as I've been covering the news. Let them help you find the way forward. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Tonight, is the media letting Hamas win the propaganda war? Was it the right call for the Harvard president to resign? Plus, USA Boxing's latest policy on transgender boxers. Dan's all-star panel tackles it all. Tonight on Dan Abrams Live. Ah, the sweet sound of savings. With Reliance Flex Your Credit's electricity plan, you automatically get your two highest use days free every week. Up to eight days a month. And guess what else? You also get bill credits to redeem right in the Reliant app. To save with Flex Your Credits, call 1-866-RELIANT. Reliant, that's power your way. For the news at 9, watch CW 39. To know what's happening right now and to prepare you for tomorrow. The team to trust every night at 9. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39 every night. Enroll in Trend Barber College today. Financial aid and VA benefits are available for those who qualify. Call the Southwest Campus at 713-721-0000. Call the North Campus at 281-440-8383. Trend Barber College is the home of the $5 haircut, where walk-ins are always well. The truth revealed. What do you want to say to him? Hey man, you have a wife and two kids, and you know how she's going to react to fight. Weekdays at 3 on CW39 Houston. You asked me if I was a cheerleader. I told is. you I'm peppy. You missed your calling. I did miss my calling. If only I could do, you know, like a cartwheel, Lester. That would be awesome. I would pay to see that. I have never done Well, I have to work on that. But you know what I think is really cool? And Seth, we've been talking about this, is how you guys are doing a lot for teachers. We are. Through our legacy program, Houston Loves Teachers, which is part of the Extra Yards for Teachers, uh, you know, legacy program that uh, the College Football Playoff Foundation does, we're trying to tackle the issue of uh, teacher recruitment and retention in the Houston area, which, as we all know is a big deal so we are raising funds trying to beat Indianapolis records of five million dollars wow. so we're almost there okay and uh, hopefully you know we'll be able to, to keep that program going well after the fact we've got some nice artwork around here these are significant these murals yes, extremely significant because we did these murals with local artists and uh, art students from each of the schools from throughout the Houston area that participated in the program with input from their art teachers. And this is just to showcase the history, the heritage, and the spirit of each one of the schools. Each one is different and all by 
you know, done by different local artists. This is really, really incredible. And there's some events that actually the tickets, it benefits the teachers. Tell that me about that. correct. So Taste of the Championship, which is going on on Sunday, which is a premium ticketed event, benefits uh, Houston Loves Teachers. Then, of course, the Trophy Trot, which is the 5 and 10K race that we have going on. you got to register to that, and you got to pay for registration, but everything goes to Houston Loves Teachers. So we've got those two as the principal ones that are driving funds. And then, of course, our welcome party, which is going on tonight, which is already sold out. We have a lot of live auction items to, to you know, to raise uh, additional funds for them. Plus, this booth gives you a place to sit down if you pull a hamstring instead of running the 40-yard dash or doing the other activities out here. That's wink, nice. Wink, wink. Yeah. Oh, this could very well happen by the end of this newscast. I mean, you know that we are going to be doing some competition mm, around here. What are you looking forward to most this weekend? I'm looking forward to a great game, and I'm looking forward to, after the fact, people saying, you know what, I was part of something special. Mm. I was part of something yeah. that was really, really cool where the community came together. And not just the game, but this event as well, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I love that you're helping teachers and the community beyond this weekend because this is, I mean, that's what I love about college is watching these student athletes. It's their moment to shine. They're still just kids if you think about it. That is true. And, you know, there's a saying that I love about teaching. Teaching is the profession that teaches all other professions. And mm -hmm. if you think about it, it's true. And that's why they're so important to our community. They're the ones raising the future generation of leaders, right? So if we support them, if we, if we give them the tools they need to succeed, everything else will follow. I really love that. That's going to stick with me for yeah, a we long time. We all have an MVP teacher that's been teacher. in our life. Miss Everson for me. She <laughs> believed me. Fourth grade. I'll never forget. So thank you again. Well, we're just getting started. We're going to continue to play around. You know, guys, I was a little scared getting in here because mm -hmm. I was white knuckling driving. The weather has been crazy, but it's going to clear up for the concerts. Kerrigan, what's it looking like this weekend? Do we have a winning four? guest. Uh, we have a mixed bag now, Maggie. We're going to keep the game interesting in the weather. We have uh, some rainfall. We have some clearing conditions. And uh, speaking of those clearing conditions, that's what we're seeing here on satellite and radar. As of this morning, we had those heavy downpours moving through. But on the back end of that, uh, we are seeing a stark contrast in our weather. And we'll continue to see that occur throughout the rest of our day. Going into this afternoon, some sun is even in our forecast, believe it or not, with the morning that we've seen with all all this rainfall even a tornado warning was seen early this morning but that heavy rain hugs the coastline as all of this is pushing off to our east also out along the coastline very choppy waters we have a marine warning because of the heavy rain those gusty winds and just with the system in place it could be conducive for some brief water spouts developing so we'll be on the lookout for that until about 9 45 that's never that marine warning in particular is going to expire and this whole system again will continue its trek out to the east. Our day planner shows that clearing process taking place heading into the afternoon. So our morning was a washout, but by the afternoon you can go outdoors and enjoy what's left of this Friday. Friday night plans, good to go. And a little cool by that time as well. Going into our future cast, clear skies by 6 p.m. today with Louisiana getting soggy. Going into our Saturday morning, some fog to start things off, and then we have some sun by the afternoon. And for our Saturday night, plans are good to go out on the town once again. Heading into Sunday now, we have some fog to start our day, some low, low, low clouds throughout southeast Texas, and then going into 10 o'clock on Sunday. Some of us stay clear for the start of the night, but that cloud cover and our next rain chance starts moving on in for Monday. Now, this is the day of the game that we're looking out for. Some, some good weather may not be the case for all of the day, but I think that by the evening, we'll get some moments of clearing just in time for some of those late day activities. Um, and then we have some windy conditions on the way for our Tuesday, uh, but sunshine, thankfully, is back by that time. Now, I know, Maggie, you really want great weather for that day, but we're going to have to fine tune that forecast the closer we get to it. But right now, the bulk of the rain looks to be for the first half of the day. Hey, Thank goodness we have a roof that closes at NRG. Now, Kerrigan, I know that you have competed in football, you know, women's football. Um, I am going to try to kick. So wish me luck, girlfriend. I didn't wear heels. I'm going to try. I did wear these vintage Dog Martens. Are those steel-toed? Uh, you, you know what? That's what Hebe, my husband, said to do because it would give me an Maybe advantage. Maybe a boost, yeah. I've been kicking it all morning. I'm so excited because I have my favorite teammate. I have Seth. Hello, that's been hello. I'm going to get teed so up Seth, here. 
I'm very nervous about I this. I mean, you're going to do this perfectly. you got to get it up quick because that's a high crossbar and we don't have much room here. But I mean, let's see what you got. Okay, so I had a crush on the kicker in high school. Someone had a crush on the kicker. That's I amazing. did. I know. Kickers yeah. get love too. Yeah, like Chad, that. it didn't work though. It <laughs> didn't sorry. work. And my mom was like, "He's the kicker. <laughs> he just comes out and kicks." But let me tell you, it's hard. Anybody, <laughs> exactly. They're always going to be I'm the like, last "Oh my gosh!" Go. And the kicker in fantasy has actually helped my husband a lot. Well, there you go. See. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So what do I do? All right. Well, let me try it first. Okay, and you then show we'll get me. You up there. I have not kicked a football in years. So here we go. Do I have to do a special step? Oh. Oh, that was awful. Oh, but you made contact. Bad. What I if I whiff. miss and fall? I didn't whiff, but if you Would miss and fall. Would I get workman's comp? Uh, Don't well, they do like a special, like they come in and they do a special thing? Kickers, yeah, it's like back, back, back. and then over, over, and they soccer <gasps> style, but I'm a toe puncher, so I had to do that. A toe, wait, toe they punch. do it on the side? Yeah, they kind of have to tip the foot there. You give a jump? <laughs> <laughs> Can All I be right. Lucy to your Charlie Brown and pull the ball away as you're coming? Up? Oh, please no. don't. I might. No, okay, I'm going to try. It didn't even get air. It was straighter than mine, though. Seth, but it didn't get air. Mine went off this way. I shanked. At least you were in the right direction. I mean, this if I'd is... been soccer, it would have been a goal. Let's put it that way. So. I never played soccer. Oh, talk arrogant. She, she's all about that. I know. I was like, Mom, you can't make me run after a ball. Do we have time for one more? I went Yeah, let's do it again. Okay, we have time, because okay. we're going to be playing. This is what's so fun. And, guys, this is free. This is happening. The doors open at 10, and then it's happening all weekend. We have all of the information over on our website, cw39.com. Okay. All right, I'm going to do the... I'm going to... Okay. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right, here goes Seth with the good hair. <gasps> it's good! Oh, my God! Yay! Do the dance. Like, what dance would yours be? Oh, okay. I don't know what that Don't do that, that ever, no, again. Never ever again. Never again. <laughs> I dance for you. I've never danced for anyone else on air. That's how much we love Maggie around here. Hey, I get people to open up. I That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are just getting started. I need started. to raise up to that. I mean, you do. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to the big boss about that. Um, I'm going to continue to practice and kick it with you. We'll catch up. In the meantime, though, we may need to rest later because I think we're getting our steps in. And Brad Gilmore, let's see what he has in this week's Spotlight. Check it out. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of the CW39 Spotlight and Happy New Year. We're going to start off this year talking to Roxy Stryer. She is the star of the brand new film, Always Lola, and we had a chance to speak with her exclusively here on CW39 Houston. And the star of the film, Always Lola, is joining me at the CW39 Spotlight, Roxy Stryer. Roxy, thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Well, let's talk about the film, Always Lola. For those who don't know or maybe have not have seen the trailer, can you explain what the story of the film is? Yeah, it's a coming-of-age story about kids dealing with grief. I'm Lola. It's a, about one girl and how she impacts the rest of her friends when something happens. For audiences who have seen the film and the ones that haven't, when they do finally see Always Lola, what do you want them to take away from the film. For audiences who have seen the film, thank you so much. You're helping to make all of our dreams come true. For audiences who haven't or have, what I'm hoping that they feel is less alone and more of an understanding of what the phases of grief are and that you do make it out on the other side. I think that sometimes when you lose somebody, you don't know if you're ever gonna be okay again. And then at some point, instead of having this hole that you're just trying to fill all the time with anything around you, you realize that hole does get filled with the memories of somebody, the lessons that they did teach you, everything you can do moving forward with that person in mind. And I think that this movie does a great job of showing that life does go on no matter what happens. We want to thank Roxy Stryer for joining us on this edition of the CW39 Spotlight. Make sure you stream Always Lola, available on platforms such as Amazon Prime. But until next time, I'm Brad Gilmore, CW39 Houston. You must miss him. It's complicated. Yeah, love is that way. Schitt's Creek star Daniel Levy directs, writes, and stars in the dramedy Good Grief. He's a man mourning the loss of his husband who takes his friends on a trip to Paris to try to get away from it all, but finds some surprises in the City of Lights. Streaming begins Friday on Netflix. He doesn't really see me anymore. 
Oscar nominee Shercha Ronan and Paul Mescal star as a couple on a quiet rural farm dealing with a frightening uninvited guest in the thriller Foe. See it Friday on Amazon Prime. And on Netflix, there's Society of Snow, the true story of an Uruguayan rugby team who survive a plane crash in the Andes and go to unimaginable lengths to survive. This is not our war. Also this week, there's the seventh installment of the Transformers series. Transformers Rise of the Beasts features Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback joining the Autobots and Maximals, fighting off a takeover of the planet. See it Friday, starting on Prime Video. Our family is head of the Jade Dragon. For new streaming series this week, Oscar winner Michelle Yeoh is the head of a Taiwan crime family who brings her two sons in to protect the family business in Brother's Son. Streaming begins tomorrow on Netflix. There's also the crime thriller Fool Me Once about a widow who uncovers her husband's secret life after he's supposedly been murdered. Catch it on Netflix now. Tons of money just starts flooding in. 100,000, another 100,000. There's also the true crime documentary series Bitcon, in which three guys exploit the cryptocurrency market to scam millions from investors. Catch it on Netflix now. On Amazon Prime, take a trip through the culture of India in the travelogue series James May, Our Man in India. Streaming begins Friday. And finally, now on Netflix, there's You Are What You Eat, a twin experiment in which identical twins are given two different diets to look at the possible effects. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video picks and right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. And I hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. ordinary nerds who wants to get their shell on they're super nerds of comedy i wish we looked as cool dancing in clubs as we do right now the big bang theory weeknights at 6 and 6 30 on cw 39 houston this week on the john Ackerberg show what happens when people are given an audio bible and hear jesus speak to them in their own language for the very first time they say well the people just begin to weep they listen and then they say, when it stops, they just are so excited. Jesus speaks our language. Watch the John Ankerberg Show each Sunday morning at 9 a.m. right here on KIAH TV. Are you tired of living with constant pain and discomfort? Introducing more relief pain and burn dermaceuticals, your trusted solution for fast and effective relief. Whether it's a minor burn, muscle soreness, or any kind of skin irritation, more relief dermaceuticals can help. A patented natural ingredients formula provides pain relief that works quickly. Stop throwing your money down the drain on expensive pills that don't help your skin. More pain relief and burn dermaceuticals can get you back to doing what you love without any limitations. It's time for Polar Palooza at Children's Museum Houston. Enjoy three weeks of thrills, chills, and winter skills. Unwrap the magic, spread the joy, and share the holiday excitement. Explore 13 galleries bursting with action-packed fun. Come play in real snow every day. Don't miss Polar Palooza. Happening now at Children's Museum Houston. Get your tickets at cmhouston.org. Can your mind come out to play? I was driving down the road and boom, a speeding driver hit me. Boom! Next thing I knew, I was hurt in a car accident. A car accident can hit you out of nowhere. But when you call us, boom! Just like that, we can help you get your life back on track. We got a client who injured their neck in a car wreck, $283,422.03. Boom, baby! I'm attorney Sean Lalazari. And I'm attorney Shervin Lalazari. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 1-800-222-2222 or visit lawbrothers.com. Tonight. Was this your word? Yes. You might think they know every trick. Penn and Teller have to face amazing magicians. So great. But it's just. You just have unbelievable chops. An illusion. You fooled us. That blew my mind. We are totally obsessed with Penn and Teller. It sure pays to suck up to us. There is no doubt that you fooled us. Penn and Teller fool us. Tonight at 8, 7 central on The CW. 
friendship goals. Can we are for tomorrow night, Pink Floyd Laser Show at the Planetarium. Oh, you can plan it on it. The Neighborhood, weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on CW39 Houston. No, back out here live. We are at the Playoff Fan Central, and we still have a lot to tackle. These things fight back like a real human being. Seth and I are going to be tackling everything there is to do this weekend. The doors open at noon, and it's three days of free fun. Also, though, coming up here on Houston Happens in studio, you can score big with Doghouse and their exclusive game day deals. Serving up the details, Adam Gertler's Doghouse. He is going to be with us after the break. And experts are saying 2024 is going to break records when it comes to travel. So what's the top destination going to be? Well, I guess you'll have to stick around and find out. We're flying more to you after the break. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting edge image guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis knee pain centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. With four locations in Houston, call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. When you get a hustle, then you can tell her what to do. Watch the drama unfold. You are the fox. You are a liar. Why don't we bring out your ass? Weekdays on CW39. Houston. The virus that causes shingles is sleeping in 99% of people over 50. It's lying dormant, waiting, and could reactivate. Shingles strikes is a painful, blistering rash that can last for weeks, and it could wake at any time. Think you are not at risk for shingles? It's time to wake up, because shingles could wake up in you. If you're over 50, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about shingles prevention. I'm Sharon Simmons Cantrell. I'd like to tell you what free means at Simmons & Fletcher. Free is no charge to speak with us about your case. Free is no upfront costs while we work on your case. Free means there are no fees unless we collect money for you. Don't wait if you've been injured in an accident. Call Simmons & Fletcher today. It's free. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. There's a new client in the boardroom. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little sibling rivalry. Whatever he says is not as bad as it's about to sound. Your Honor. Petition denied. This is bull poop. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, oh, oh. Shut up. I didn't say anything. It's preemptive. Family Law. Season premiere Wednesday, January 17th on The CW. Steve Wilkos, today at 2 on CW39 Houston. All right, you guys, I told you we have a lot to tackle on this special edition of Houston Evans. I mean, I'm a pretty lucky girl. Look at these fellas. I get to hang out with all day. Seth has been co-hosting with me. I've had so much fun with you. And now we have a new teammate. Introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Elon Warner. I'm the Playoff Fan Central kind of media operations person. This is my 10th Playoff Fan Central, so I've done them all. So this is, uh, you guys have a great opportunity this weekend. I think it's bigger and better. I love all the Houston elements with NASA. I mean, the Mars rover uh, riding a, a bucking bull. Uh, but I mean, this has been great. It's going to open up today at noon. Come down. I know the weather's a little shaky. Be safe on the roads, but get out here. Bring your kids. Wear them out. Yes. Get some <laughs> you, can, uh, you can really maintain them. You can get them some Dr. Pepper samples. Yes. Get them all sugared up. Run them around. Kick field goals. Throw passes. 40-yard dash. And then they'll be asleep <laughs> before you get out of the parking lot. I like the way he 
these. It's I have a 14 month old. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you've got young kids. My kids are all older, but these are all tricks of the trade that it's you'll for quickly. All ages. That's, a, that's a pro tip right there. Note yeah. to self yeah. game notes over here. Yeah, what are you looking forward to? Uh, most? Well, everything out here I've seen, I think just throwing a ball through a tire, seeing what the arm still has left in it. But do you have anything in particular like you've got to do this? You have to try to kick the field goals. That is to me the quintessential college football kind of let's see how much pressure you can put on yourself uh kick field goals settle a lot of family disputes i do like the quarterback you know throwing the football through the goodyear tires it's also the trophies we have all big six yes. ball trophies here we have a heisman trophy and we have the national championship trophy so you can kind of get your picture taken with the hardware um and it'll be just really interesting to people watch. I love the fact they're bringing in new fans from, you know, Michigan fans, Washington fans. There'll obviously be a lot of college football fans from the area. But thousands of people will come into Houston this weekend, and they will all be all maize and blue, purple. And it's going to be just a really cool environment. I love all the spirit. And then just down there, I mean, the kids are going to, I should—I call them kids, but the players, they're doing a media day. Yeah, so the student athletes will be down there on Saturday. It's great. You can kind of come and watch. Um, in the past, they broadcast it kind of in arena, but the coaches will be talking, the offensive coordinators, the key players. Um, it's just a really kind of fun event to just kind of see the players. Don't necessarily be able to interact with them, but just kind of get the vibe. And then Sunday, we have the bands oh, in here uh, on, now from two and three. And it's going to be, they, they blow the roof off this place. Kind of pep rallies too, right? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, right. so, yeah, so it's really just a whole weekend of fun, whether you're a college football fan or not. Right. You can come down here and have a really good time. College Football Hall of Fame, learn a little something, see the Mars rover. I know I've mentioned that already, but I'm yeah. super fascinated by everything the Johnson Space Center does. So. Yeah, and it really represents Houston. Yes. Oh, yeah. And Houston, we know how to host. I mean, oh. we've had the Super Bowl, we've had a lot. So we can do this, guys. Here's the thing, too. You know, we're also known for our cuisine. Do you guys have a doghouse? I know you're up in Dallas. Do you guys have a doghouse up there? We don't have doghouse up there. Well, you have got to get yourself okay. a dog, honey. Okay. We have more. Coming up with that, but also we have some of the top travel destinations. I know we all need a vacation after working really hard, especially you, my sure. friend. So Kerrigan, take it away. Where is the top destination? Well, Maggie, 2024 is expected to be one of the biggest travel years ever. So what will be the hottest travel sectors and biggest destinations this year? Travel expert Janine Tornator is joining us to explain. Thanks for waking up with us. Great to be here. So Janine, the first thing you say travelers should be booking now for 2024 is cruises, right? Yes, cruising has continued to grow as a, in popularity as a vacation option with no signs of slowing down in 2024. In fact, in 2023, Carnival Cruise Line welcomed 3.5 million new guests on their ships. They had a record breaking year as the largest cruise line in the US. And they're saying that guests for 2024 are actually booking further out. So two thirds of guests that will be, <coughs> will be sailing with them in 2024 have already made their booking. So what that tells us <coughs> is that booking and planning early is really key for those 2024 cruises. And one of the reasons that we're seeing such popularity is because there are so many great new ships and new experiences out there. Carnival, for example, just launched a few weeks ago its latest Excel class ship, the Carnival Jubilee, right out of Galveston. So great local option for folks in Houston. Um, they also in April will be debuting their uh, Carnival Firenze out of Long Beach, California. This will be their second Italian themed ship in just two years that is going out. And in 2025, they're going to be launching Celebration Key. This is going to be an exclusive Bahamian experience just for carnival guests. So lots of things happening in the cruise industry. Reason why you want to book early. And what should travelers know when planning to go abroad? Yes, well, we saw in 2023 all that pent up demand for international travel really exploded, especially to destinations like Europe. That is expected to continue to boom in 2024. For those European trips, the good news is that we're seeing airlines and they have increased routes to and from Europe from the US. So there will be more options in 2024. Timing is really going to be everything. So, of course, we have the Summer Olympics in Paris, end of July. Taylor Swift, she's taking her Eras tour. 
to Europe. So that's going to drive up prices and decrease availability when she's in some of those major cities. This is really going to be the year to embrace the shoulder seasons. So if you're looking to somewhere like Europe, traveling in the spring or the fall is really going to give you more affordability and availability. And for those planning domestic trips, particularly outdoor adventure travel, you say booking plans for national parks now is a must. Where can we go for more information? Yeah, well, national parks are more popular than ever before. And why this is on my list this year is because there are several of the most popular national parks that are bringing back their timed reservation systems. So for those that want to hit those national parks, you need to make sure that you're making those bookings early so that you can avoid some of the overcrowding and get into those parks even for those summer vacations. All right, well, thank you so much now, Janine. I for sure will be taking all of these tips personally home with me whenever I'm booking my travels for this upcoming year. Have a good morning. My pleasure. And if you're traveling, you might want to bring a cup of coffee, right? For me, maybe two or three. But from blonde to dark rose, maybe you like an extra shot of espresso, no matter how you take your coffee. You can save money while doing it. Olivia Horton is standing by with the top products that will perk your interest from some consumer resource best reviews. There are two types of coffee loving people, those who simply need to brew a cup to wake up and those who measure, grind and filter to get the perfect flavor. Joining us now with the top tested coffee products is Senior Director of Content Operations at Best Reviews, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. You know, this is a crucial subject for a lot of the viewers <laughs> yes, out is. there. So want to make sure we're giving everybody the information so they can make the right decision for them. Love that. And let's first get started with one of the simple ones over here. Yes. So this is one of uh, Keurig and Keurig is a super popular brand because it's just so simple to use and this is their mini uh, model which is great for people who don't want to use up too much counter space just want to be able to take care of that you know essential morning task and so we love it for that and also even though it is does have a tiny little footprint you can pop off the bottom use a larger travel mug so it's great for people on the go this is awesome just the simple cup of joe people who like to keep it to the basics but what about this one over here and we're talking about being on the go there's no more uh, more so on the go than being camping. <laughs> so when you want to go camping, you still need your coffee in the morning. This product from Stanley is their camping coffee maker and it is awesome because as you can see, it fits right on top. Mm -hmm. Super easy to take with you. Throw it in your backpack. You'll barely even notice it's there. And so we absolutely love it for that reason too because you can then have that wake me up in the morning because you know, you don't want to be groggy on a hike. That seems weird. Yeah, that's so true. Especially when you're going camping, you need that cup of joe to wake yourself up. But speaking of on the subject, staying on the go, what about this one right here? And so this is a, what's called a mocha pot. And it's funny because these had a huge moment in 2020 as everybody started to experiment with their own at-home coffee systems. And this from Bialetti is our absolute favorite from that process of testing all those different mocha pots. It could not be simpler. You put room temperature water inside of it, put some grounds on top, don't tamp them down, and then you just put it over the, the, uh, the burner, let it heat up. When it starts to gurgle, you know your coffee's ready. And for those that have the discerning taste, this kind of lives at the intersection of pretty easy to make, but also highly customizable. Oh, okay, I love that. Okay, so we like this one here, but moving on to something a little bit more complicated, not too hard, but this one right here. And this is from Philips, which is a great brand for all kinds of kitchen appliances. They make all kinds of stuff. And this is their competitor for the Keurig. It's a little bit higher end though. And in terms of the features that we loved about it, it's got a huge carafe back here, which means that you don't have to uh, refill it too often. And then it also has a lot of just smart features within it to make sure that it's optimizing for that perfect cup so it's for that person who wants that great single cup coffee maker yes. but also does not want to deal with you know some of the lower end features there they want to have something a little bit more refined that's what we love this product from Philips all right but last but not least the mastermind behind all of the coffee cups over here and we've been talking about simplicity a lot with these other <laughs> yes. models this is by far the least simple but for those who do want to have that kind of barista level of control this product from Breville which is their espresso maker with the grinder 
is super awesome because it is still simple to use at the end of the day, but it comes with all of those super high-end features where you can do steamers. It's got the grinder on it so you can grind your beans right before so you have that ultimate fresh grind, which is awesome for the coffee lovers. Just a ton of different customizable features on it that we super love. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit higher in the price spectrum, I'm going to clock in at a little bit more than 600 bucks, even, uh, you know, on sale, this is a great place to start. Well, this is all just in time for International Coffee Day. So thank you so much, Jacob, for joining us today. Thanks so much. I hope it helps people through that huge holiday. <laughs> of course. For more on these coffee products, just head to bestreviews.com or scan that QR code on your screen. And still to come, you can score big with Doghouse and their exclusive game day deals. Serving up the details is Adam Gertler, Doghouse Worst Mocker. That's right after the break. are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Ah, the sweet sound of savings. With Reliance Flex Your Credit's electricity plan, you automatically get your two highest use days free every week. Up to eight days a month. And guess what else? You also get bill credits to redeem right in the Reliant app. Scan the code and save with Flex for Credits. Reliant, that's power your way. We want to be sure about our children's health. The pediatricians at Legacy Community Health get to know each child and family, answering all your health questions and your child's too. From well child exams to safe and effective vaccines like COVID-19 and flu, getting that picky eater to try more veggies, or helping your high schooler deal with exam stress. Legacy's team is your trusted partner in your child's health and wellness. New patients are welcome at 14 convenient locations. If you've been injured and people are telling you to get a lawyer, here's what you should do. Listen, friends, family, coworkers, your doctor, they don't want you to be taken advantage of and they're giving you good advice. So take it and call Terry Bryant. They've seen what can happen to good people after a serious injury and they'll work hard so it doesn't happen to you. After an accident, go with the one you know. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance, all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. And the National College Football Championship is only three days away. And guess what? You can score big with Doghouse and their exclusive game day deals. Serving up the details is Adam Gertler, Doghouse Worst Mocker? You said that great. Worst Mocker. Just a little bit faster. I would just tighten that gap and you got worst it. Worst Mocker. There yeah, it you is. You told me it's not even a real word, so I'm not concerned. It's kind of made up, yeah. <laughs> so um, what do you have here for us today? Well, I brought some of the goodies from Doghouse. You know, we got to, whenever we get very excited when there's big games and we have the food to satisfy the cravings for those yes. who have the hunger. Uh, so for this very special championship game, we have some specific specials going on. Uh, over here is one of my favorite hot dogs. That's the Cowboy. That's mm. our all beef dog with our house made cheese sauce, smoky bacon, crispy onions, and barbecue sauce. Uh, and those are going to be $5 wow. during the game. A That's a special. We're also doing uh, 3 and $4 beers that we have uh, when you dine in. And we even have some $5 shot specials. So if you come and watch the game with us, 
you're going to party with us. Now, if you're the kind of person that likes to party at home, we have great catering packages. In addition to hot dogs and sausages, we do some of the best fried chicken and chicken wings. I got my Chipotle honey wings here. We got Nashville hot chicken, but we can also do uh, non-spicy chicken tenders, if you like. And those will come in platters, kind of like this, yes. in, our, in our catering package. And over here, since we are a doghouse, I brought some uh, beef dogs. We have our spicy Italian bratwurst, T-Mex. What do you like? What's your yeah. favorite kind of? Um, ooh, mm -hmm. Just a basic hot dog. You want a beef? There's nothing basic yes. about a doghouse no. dog. There we go. Let's All right, Kerrigan. All right, so you got basic. ketchup, mustard, mayo, secret sauce, barbecue sauces sauce. Sauces for your wildest dreams. Is this a secret sauce? That's the secret sauce. You gotta stay mysterious uh, and. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Like a professional. You're Hire literally me. the best Hire me. anchor news person <laughs> I've ever done this with on camera. It is always a disaster. Glorious. And I like things spicy, so I am going to put some jalapenos oh, on there should. as well. As you should. And uh, yeah, what else do people need to know if they want to head over? Well, I also just want to mention we, we have some of the best sliders. Slider yeah. Mountain. Slider Take Mountain over here. Slider Lane. All of our sandwiches and our dogs and sausages we do on grilled King's Hawaiian bread. Bread, which is Some slightly other, yes. sweet. It's really soft, pillowy. We, we butter toast it. Um, we also have chicken sandwiches like uh, the hot chick over here. So any of this is available. Dine in, pick up, take out, get the catering packages. Come and see us. We have two locations open right now in the Houston area. Another one mm -hmm. on the way. Um, we're in Energy Corridor. Yep. Uh, and then uh, we're also up there in... Um, Spring. Spring. That's right. In spring off us. Yes. Of, yes, right off of spring. So two locations in the Houston area. Great. Come see us. We're open late. There you go. Absolutely perfect for game day with the family. Yes. Love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We are going to have a great time eating this after the show. But while we're here showing you the game day specials, Maggie is out at the Georgia Brown Convention Center previewing the College Football National Championship this upcoming Monday. Maggie, what are you doing? What? Maggie with the football oh, in her hand. Kerrigan, I can't trust the situation. Are you ready for <laughs> some college football? Kerrigan, Look at this roster, okay? I brought the A team out here. Introducing Go Long, Seth Kovar, and then now joining a special appearance from CW39 Houston Digital producer and Chad's corner, Chad Washington. Fellas, this has been so much fun. It's I love hanging day. out. This whole event's so much fun. Dude. I know. Yeah. Playoff Central. Fans. Fan is, Central. This is amazing. This is what college football is all about, right here. You know, this is the, they want to make it at the center of it, and really, there's everything that you want to do here. The GRB has been completely transformed, you guys. If you've missed anything, don't worry. You can always catch up over on CW39.com. Houston happens. The thing is, this is. Free. It's free. We're on a Absolutely. giant football field in the middle yeah. of a convention center. It's even got the metal or the rubber pellets in there. Like this is the actual turf they play on. So. I feel like a baller. Cool. I are, feel like well, a baller. We're gonna run a play in a little bit. And you're yeah. gonna see what kind of baller they've she been is. trying to, yeah, they've been trying to show me. You did kick though. I made a field goal today. He made a so. field goal, you guys. Here's yeah, like, a graphic with so all of the information. You've done a lot. Now here's the thing, guys. I know we've been playing around, but let's be real, there's a really big game to play. On Monday. Absolutely. This is this is for the national title. I mean, this is for, this is for all the marbles. You got Michigan versus Washington. Both teams come in undefeated. Both teams really are focused. They had wonderful seasons, and they're going to go at it for a national title. It'll be for to beat Michigan. They haven't won one since 1997. Washington hasn't won one since 1991 when he shared it with Miami. Mm -hmm. So this is a big, big game for these for these two schools. Well, Chad, being a Big Ten guy, are you thinking it's going to be Michigan's day on Monday? Well, technically, Seth, these two teams are going to be in the Big Ten next year, so oh. it is a Big Ten oh. matchup. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's the little secret there. Well, uh, Washington will be joining the Big Ten next year, but uh, you know, I, I look at the matchups. I just I look at Michigan, and they've just been outstanding in a lot of the facets of the game. They just really are rugged on defense. They really did a good job on Alabama. They did a great job. Uh, just able to get to the pre pressure on the quarterback, get to him, put some, and, and really disrupt their offense. Meanwhile, their offense made the plays that they need to. They didn't think, nobody thought that they could make the, their offense could make those plays with J.D. McCarthy, uh, Mike Corum, their running back, did those plays, and really, that's why I really have Michigan winning this game. I can't do it. My dad's from Ohio. I'll yeah. be disowned. Oh, you would be. Yeah, yeah no, no way. Also, rival, you can't I like with that. Penix. 
He was great. Being a, a Texas fan, watching him yeah. just shred the defense. I know, I'm sorry about that. Bowl, you did. You okay? We got to the Final Four, if you will. I'm, I'm happy with that. It would be great to be playing in the big game. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot of respect for that Phoenix guy, for the quarterback for Washington. He's yeah. just as solid. He was throwing in these dimes into the tightest yeah. windows and just yeah. really a great player. So, I, 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 think yeah. Michigan, I think Washington might pull this out. Yeah. I would love to see an upset. Michigan, of course, it's favored, right? Four and a half Michigan points? Michigan is four and a half. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're the favorites. I don't know. I always like to see a little bit of an upset. But either way, I think it's just going to be a good matchup. I did find this interesting that Michigan doesn't have a mascot, nope. y'all. Nope, they don't. They, is that just saying we're yeah, cooler? Yeah, I've never is, heard is that. It, no. it is kind of like them being they're cooler because a lot of Big Ten, there's a lot of cool Big Ten mascots. You got Bruce Buckeye, you got the Nittany Lion, you got, a, you know, uh, the Haw Hawkeye, you know, but Michigan, no mascot for them. Well, let's, I don't know let's why. be real. Hugh Jackman with the Wolverine yeah. blades and stuff like that from well, like, the comic you know, strips. You know, you know that, 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 they, that's money right there, Michigan. I don't know yes, why they don't want to do all that. Seriously, but yeah. no mascot is as good as my CU buffs, okay? The live one's pretty cool running a buffalo down the field. And my friend, fun fact, my sorority sister dated one of the runners. He had not a the run. actual buffalo. Not, <laughs> yeah, not no, Ralphie. No, no. no. Ralphie's he, a, You never Ralphie's know what's going on in Boulder. Yeah, I should yeah, say, yeah. Ralph, she dated Ralphie's one of the handlers, so oh, okay. we used to watch him. But they had a run, because buffaloes are fast, y'all. Yes, yeah. I didn't know, know if you knew that. Yeah. It's strong and everything else. That's just yeah. kind of how we are. That's why Coach yeah, Prime's with us. You know, you wish we could take on those longhorns any day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Here's the thing, though. Game day tickets. Expensive. Yeah. Last check, what did we say? Eight hundred. Right at eight hundred dollars, the cheapest ticket cheapest. to get in the building over at Energy. I That's will. Insane. I will say though, the prices did have gone down. They were like three thousand before oh, the semifinals. Oh. Well, yeah. Because you had a lot of base. Texas fans that thought about coming down. And of course, Alabama fans really thought that they had a chance to win it. Well, guys. Enough talk. Let's oh, play. Is it time to run? It's play? about time. Okay, so what are we going to be doing? Right. Okay, um, let, let me snap the ball to Seth, mm -hmm. and Seth, you go. You, you you throw it, and Maggie, you go long. So I'm a receiver. Okay. You're the wide receiver. You're the wide receiver. And I'm going to be Who are you calling wide? I'm calling you a wide out. You're the... <laughs> Blondie's boys. That's right, my Jeff. team name. Okay, right. can I sit down the mic? Because it's hard for me to. Yeah, sit down the yeah, mic. Okay. The mic. Okay. I'm dropping the, the mic. It doesn't have an option. I'll talk while we're snapping here. All right. Oh, so Maggie, over here, over here. What? Over Run that way. Watch the face. Watch the Run face. Right. Ready? Set. Watch the money maker, guys. Oh. Whoa, that's snap. Oh, man, my bad snap. What do I do? I run? He's got it. Go. She got it. She's going Go all the way. way. She's at the 10. She's going to score. Five. She's in the end zone. Touchdown. 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 Houston happened. She did. So good. That is unbelievable. She is what so a catch. And she should be. We didn't practice that really. Kind yeah, of. that was awesome. That was really good. Whoa. <laughs> Not doing that. I was going to just bump you. How about this one? Yeah. Well done, Maggie. Well done. Great Good job, job, Maggie. Whoa. My husband, did you see? I caught it. He's going to be so proud. She did so good, y'all. Trophy awesome. wife over here. <laughs> Winning a trophy. I'm going to catch my breath. Uh, we're going to be playing more after the break. In my docks, by the way. Oh, there you That's go. That's how we roll. Stay tuned for more Houston Happens. I caught it. I can't believe you did it. it. You did it. Yay. <laughs> Being your own boss lets you work on your terms. With Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, you can find the best coverage for your needs and schedule. Open enrollment is here. Call 1-800-488-1000 or visit findyourplantx.com. Get in-person or virtual doctor visits, plus $0 annual checkups. You may qualify for coverage as low as $10 a month. Enroll now for coverage centered around you. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, through it all. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting edge image guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. 
with four locations in Houston. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. At Simmons and Fletcher, our day often starts before much of Houston wakes up. The hours preparing a case are long, and the fight for justice is real. Our team is committed to righting wrongs by working to secure money for our clients. If you've been hurt in an accident, call Simmons and Fletcher. Find out if you have a case. The call is always free. There are no fees or costs unless we win money for you. Simmons and Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. Welcome to Wow Women of Wrestling. A lot of fire. Wow. A lot of passion. Oh my! A lot of fun. It's a battle you're not going to want to miss. Saturday at 11 on CW39 Houston. Big trucks rule the road. They're dangerous and they can cause big, bad injuries. But the big trucking companies don't stand a chance against us. These companies have big insurance policies. And if you're hurt by one of these monsters, we'll make sure they open up their checkbook and pay up. If you've been hurt by a big truck, call us. We're the law brothers. Hurt by a big truck? Call 1-800-222-2222. Or visit lawbrothers.com. Whoa, Seth. I We're love on this the room. stage. This, this is, is amazing. This is Look incredible. at this. I just want to celebrate a touchdown. I mean, did you all see that? What did you think about that? This, this whole thing? Oh, this whole thing but me catching the ball. You caught the ball. I caught the ball. And you scored. You ran I so scored. fast. You got in your breath back, though, so that's I good. did. My breath You're both in really good shape. <laughs> I'm in great shape after a baby. Not at all. I mean, she's a year. I, I can't use her as an excuse. Uh, you can use her You can't be like, I've got a five-year-old and I'm still in baby shape. <laughs> but this is so cool. Here's the thing. This is going to be opening soon. It opens at noon today. goes till 6, 10 to 6 on Saturday and now on Sunday as well. Playoff Fan Central. And it there's is. so much to do. Including there really is. Running tires. Oh, I'll let I you mean, run. I mean, I, I can you change a tire? I, I can. I might have to consult the owner's manual, but uh, I mean, we, we could get there. Run flat, Sonny. No, so I don't uh, mess with see, tires. That's, that's I'll let you mess right, with here we tires. Go. Let's see if should I, I time this. you? I feel like I should be timing you. This might have been I'll be a bad your idea. coach. Gotta get the knees up. Knees, knees up. up. Knees up. Knees up. Knees Come up. on, Kovar. Come on, Kovar. <laughs> That's enough. That's I mean, enough let me tell you, he did kick, though, a field goal. Kick the field goal. Uh, we've thrown some. And at the end, you had this foam pit that you can jump in. You get a picture of yourself in midair like you're making that game-saving catch at the very end. So That's amazing. Who do you have winning? I am actually leaning towards Washington. And that might be because they beat my Texas Longhorns. Right. So that might be that feeling. But Michigan's defense is good, like Chad was mentioning. So it's going to be tough. I don't know. I I'm Let's rooting go. for them too. Let's do this. Take a okay, dive? so what do I do? Okay, uh, I lost the ball. Oh no, I have to catch another ball. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Oh goodness, this gives me a little bit of stress, you all. Listen, don't be so hard on these players because it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. Uh, Seth is trying to. Here he comes running. <laughs> all right, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. If you have any questions about what's going on this weekend, just go over to our website, CW39.com. What do I do? Put the mic down and jump and save the day. Oh, dear. Ready? I have to catch another ball you got in it. air? In midair. Three, I do this? Three, one. two, one.